Welcome to the Navigating in Metric and Support Resources training module. In this training, we will discuss how to navigate in metric and the support resources available to you in the metric software. One of the first things you'll notice when you log into metric is the black navigation toolbar running along the top of the page. If you follow the toolbar all the way across to the right and down, you'll see the facility license number. If your username is associated with more than one license, you will be able to click on the dropdown, then toggle back and forth between facility licenses. This is extremely useful if you are performing a function such as transferring product from one facility license to another. Just above that is your username and profile information. To update your information, select User Profile from the dropdown. Whether you click on the link in your Welcome to Metric email or use the login key to sign in for the first time, you will find yourself at the User Profile page. Here, you will update your email and phone number and then set your password. Below that, you will enter a security question and answer. This is required so that in the event you forget your password, you can reset it on your own. After you have updated your information, you will click on the Save Profile button. Next, we will look at the support resources available to you by going to the left of the username on the navigation toolbar and clicking on Support. The first option in the dropdown is the Manual User Guide. Clicking on it will open a new page, so ensure your pop-up blockers are turned off. The Manual User Guide is a great resource for any functionality questions you may have about the metric software. This guide is easy to navigate and find the information you are looking for. Moving back to the Support dropdown. Beneath the Manual User Guide is the State Supplemental Guide. Here you will find information specific to your state's rules and regulations. Under that is the Beginning Inventory Guide. There is a CSV formatting guide to help with CSV uploads and an Industry Supports Guide for understanding the potential of the reports you can generate in Metric. The last item in that section is the RFID tag information. Below that, we have Interactive Support with Metric Support Email, where you can email questions you have about the software at any time. In addition, there is a support line, which you can call during designated hours to interact with support staff on functionality questions. Feel free to call your friendly, knowledgeable support staff. They are always ready and happy to assist. Beneath the support line is a link to sign up for training that will take you to the Metric Scheduler, where you can sign up for available classes. Also, there is a link to training videos where you can watch short YouTube clips on how to perform specific functions in Metric. For instance, if you forget how to create a manifest, you could watch the YouTube video on that single function as a refresher. The last option under the Support tab is Technical Support. Looking to the left of the Support tab, you will see Metric Functions along the toolbar. What is viewable on your toolbar depends on your license type and the permissions granted to you by your administrator. In this demo, we are signed in as the administrator for our cultivation license, so we have plants, packages, transfers, reports, and admin functionality. We will look at the admin function next. This is where you'll go after logging in and updating your user profile. This is also where you'll start building your database. Once again, if you have admin permissions, you will be able to enter tag orders and manage your tags. And most importantly, add and edit employees. You can see that the admin tab is where you create the foundation for your license type, which you will build from as you work through the different functions in the metric software.